Welcome back everyone, iOS 15.2 has officially came out, so let's take a look at it on the iPhone 8 Plus. So to update, as always, you want to make your way over to your settings, general, click software update up here, and you should be able to see 15.2, you know, probably come there in some sort of toggle that you can download and install. Now this update was a pretty big update, it brought a ton of different things within it. Now if I click here, and if I go ahead and click here, so many pop-ups within iOS, you can see that it was about 4.6 gigabytes on my A+. I don't know if I was coming from a beta or not, I really don't remember, but it's a pretty big update. You can kind of see the release log here for the A+, as well, so you can kind of see exactly all the features within this update, or most of them. Now, it installed fairly fine. It didn't, I didn't run into any issues or anything crazy, which is always good. Now, there were some improvements and updates, the first thing being within the privacy report. So what this is, it's a new toggle under our privacy settings here. We scroll down to app privacy report here. You can actually turn this on, which I would recommend doing, and you can basically kind of see a glimpse of what apps are using your data and resources in the background. So if you're somebody who wants to monitor some of these applications, well, you can pretty much see that in the background right here, which I think is pretty important. So that's another big thing. I would recommend turning it on and kind of running in the background and checking it out every once in a while. Now, another big update was in messages. So the new, I think, children and parent privacy thing came with this specific update. At least that's what it kind of looks like with this release log. I'm not 100% too sure. Maybe there's some points of it pointing there, but essentially it's pretty controversial. I'm not going to go super in detail, but it looks like some or all of it has been implemented, at least partially. So I think that's an update right there. <laughs> Another big thing is within digital legacy. So if you, you know, when you pass away, you can have contacts within your iPhone to actually have access to certain data points and data files within your iPhone when that happens. So I think that's really cool. It's just a nice way of, it's just like an extra feature, you know, that way some people can have, you know, your photos or different things when you're actually gone, which I think is kind of cool in a way. It's kind of morbid to be honest. And there were a lot of bug fixes and improvements on all those different things as well. So the question is, should you install iOS 15.2 on your iPhone 8 Plus? I will definitely tell you, like I've mentioned in all my other videos, if you're on iOS 15 right now, I would recommend installing it. It is the most stable version of iOS currently, you know, for the 15 series. However, if you're on iOS 14, I would still recommend staying on 14.8.1. That is, like I said, one of the most stable versions of software you can get right now. And that's always going to be a more stable version and a stable experience rather than going to the most latest version of software right now. So without a doubt, if you're on iOS 15, upgrade to 15.2 on your 8 plus but if you're on ios 14 i would highly recommend staying on ios 14 and not updating to 15.2 as of right now maybe wait a couple of days see how people think and say and then kind of go from there so in terms of that that pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then